Guys, I think we made it. These are not shoes, but for the boys that know what this is, I think we made it. Yeah, we made it. Here we go. This is the box. Let me take out the packaging for you. Oh my god. This is a giant bag. For those you know, those who know what this is, we're gonna be the best of friends. Let me show you what that pattern is. TSA lock. TSA lock. Let me take it out of the bag for you. All right, guys, let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. It's a bit heavy. It's got a bit of weight on it. Oh, you guys know what it is yet? Do you guys know? There it is. There it is. So I ordered this piece or pre-ordered this piece actually about a month ago finally came in today can't believe it's here I mean you guys know what it is it's a Dior Ramoa collab Ramoa is known for stainless steel or actually aluminum my bad aluminum luggage so typically airport luggage everyone gets those polycarbonate or aka plastic luggages. Ramoa decided to make aluminum ones. So you know when you're carrying like a million dollars or like you know two million something like that you can put that in here and you can feel safe and secure because it's aluminum. It's a hard shell. You can see uh, got some uh, metal <laughs> or stainless steel screws I don't know what it is and then you have these really good wheels on the wheels you can see they're 360 they, they glide really smooth they have the Christian Dior logo I don't know if you guys can see that CD and then CD logo right here I'm pretty sure everyone knows about that Dior 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 and then there's a light blue gradient on the top and it cascades down into a darker gradient all the way to the bottom where it is blue. All right, let me get in this bad boy. Let me show you how to open it or get in here. So there's these TSA locks, if you can see here. And essentially, it's a combination code. You see this number? The zero is like your locker or what have you, master lock. You put in your digits, whatever it may be, and then you can lock it. And you just press down here on this lever right here, and then it'll open it up for you. So you just press here. Oh, 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 can't open it. So right now, originally at default, it's set at 000 to open. You see that's an eight right now. So I'm gonna change this back to, let's see. Crank this, this. Oh man, what a pain in the ass, you see? This gives it that extra level of security so that uh, if you have something special you're carrying, you can lock it up with a combination code. So it has the TSA logo here, so it's TSA secure. Essentially what that means is even though it has a lock, um, the airport has a tool that they can open this with, um, which supposedly other people or thieves do not have, so that they can open it and thieves cannot. But that's just kind of, you know, it is what it is. So you click this bottom part and you heard that little bungee mark. Same thing over here, you just press this bottom. Oh, look at that, so satisfying, oh my goodness. Okay, let me open up for you. Ready? Oh man, I don't think I'm ready. You guys ready? Oh, oh! Oh, okay, let's see what we got in here. It's like a second unboxing. So in here you can kind of see it has that Dior, Dior, Dior logo and a nice um, silver material. Um, let me try again some detail right there. A little reflective, silver, and then in here, oh wow. 
This is a very, very nice nylon. It's smooth. It's similar to like, you know, those luxury bag handles. If you have a waist bag or if you have a shoulder bag, some Dior bags actually probably use this strap. It's a very, very nice strap. On the strap, uh, sorry about the shadow. Uh, it's dark out here. There's Christian Dior, Christian Dior, and Christian Dior. And right here you have leather, leather paneling. This is a little bit of rubber. It opens like this. Some Velcro, Velcro straps. So I do have another Dior, or I mean a Ramoa luggage. So I'm kind of used to this already. But there's a Velcro strap. More Velcro straps opens up here. And then the luggage actually opens like that. So you you know you toss your drawers in there, toss your socks. Um, anything else you may be wearing, you know, maybe your uh, tuxedo, because you have to have one of those. And you put it back here, and you just tuck them in with your Velcro straps. Same thing on this side. Um, now this is the big one, this is the big luggage, or I call it. Uh, essentially it's a check-in. You're definitely not carrying this on the plane, you're gonna have to check this in. Um, so same thing here. Ooh, that's a nice strap. Nice strap. Nice strap. You open that up, same thing. So there's no zip material, but this does come apart. Um, you can feel here, it's probably like a one of those aluminum bars. And then in here has that fabric Dior, 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 Dior material. So overall, this is what the interior looks like. Uh, let me show you some close-ups. Uh, it's kind of disappointing that they don't have zips. I mean, I feel like this kind of setup, uh, again, I've had a remote luggage uh, where I do, um, and I don't, I don't <coughs> like the compartmentalization inside. I think it's missing kind of some zippers, it's missing some compartments where you can safely store stuff. But you can buy those storage cubes to make it a little bit better. I just wish they included that. Now, I know I said they didn't really have much, com you know, zipper compartments or any storage. Uh, spaces for us but what they do have is this zipper right here uh, essentially for your ties anything like that and it actually comes with a booklet let's see look at this the um probably just some warranty information uh, I did see this this is interesting Ramoa made in Canada Ramoa North America Inc um, got that logo here I think a lot of this is 3M, probably reflective. And then over here, see, say this uh, clamp. You got some stainless steel screws here. So definitely, overall, interior is very, you know, structured. Uh, it's very robust. Um, these zippers, however, um, I mean, they're gloss finish. I'm sure they get scratched up. They don't feel as substantial as. Uh, other zippers I've felt before, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but it is more embezzled or emblem with a Dior right there. And you can zip it up here, you can put your socks or whatever you want in there. Um, so overall, it is that, if, if you have a remote luggage, you're probably used to it by now. Um, it's kind of not as convenient because um, you got to pack everything very nicely here with cubes and then you know you got to throw it on you got to throw the velcro strips then you guys you only have this small zip um but but i mean it's not too bad uh i mean when you're flexing so this is for those who want to see i guess uh packaging i know people like that kind of stuff so it comes in here you open this this has these nice lines right here so it kind of replicates what the luggage looks like I mean, I think I think that's kind of cute, right? Even the booklets of luggage. Okay, so you open this. What I get here? What is this? Dior Ramoa. This is a paper card. It's not metal. That's disappointing. It tells you the care instructions. Uh, this is history. No one cares about that. Uh, What's this? Owner's manual, accessories. I mean, they're just booklets, things like that. I mean, let's see. I'll get one out for you guys. Oh! All right. For example, something like this. Same thing, they have that embossed line right here, so it looks like luggage. Oh, this is how you carry it. Oh, beauty and resilience. Okay, different languages. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we got the, um, yeah, we got the different languages, guys. So all of you are covered. This is the packaging. 
comes like this. Accessories, owner's manual, this thing. Uh, yeah. Okay, let me show you look what it looks like on the outside. Oh, one thing really check. So this is since this is the four wheeler, the big one. Right here, it's probably like, I don't know, maybe like 10 inches. And then here, there's another, uh, I don't know, whatever, four or four. It's essentially, it just is not flat. It doesn't lay flat, you see that? Which is kind of a pain in the ass um, if you're lugging this around all the way on the airport. Um, I prefer them to be both flat. But this way, uh, it doesn't get scratched. So typically, I think my other Ramoa luggage, whenever I throw it on the floor, open it, you know, and drop it down like this, it usually hits the floor and it uh, gets scratched up. On this one, they uh, figured that out already. They made this the bottom and then they had these bumpers. Let me show you these bumpers right here. You got one, two, one in the middle. So you know when you lay this baby down, you're gonna throw it down on the, you know, on this side. Not like what I'm doing right now, because you want to protect this uh, Dior plating. Okay, let me go over this thing. So these these handles are very snappy. I like that. It's very useful. They feel very sturdy. Same with this. This is. Let me let me see if you can hear these clicks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I mean that's some good clicks. Feels really secure, really stable. Right now I'm leaving it open like this. It stands up by itself. Um, you can spin her around like this. It's still good. Um, and man, you look like a million bucks lugging this around. So this is again that gradient material. You can see that light blue going down to a darker, darker, darker blue, darker blue. I mean, the sizing wise, this is more like a cube. Again, typically luggages are, or I mean luggage essentially are uh, rectangle. So when they're rectangle, oh, let me close this down. They have that issue when you lay this down. For example, I put this down, I open it, I throw it down. This part's gonna get scratched up. So I guess I guess that's interesting, and uh, they designed it that way. TSA lock right here. Close it like that. Oh, it's easy to miss a click, so you have to hook the top section and then pull it down right here. Okay, same thing over here. Hook the top section, and then you just go back in like that. Okay, oh, something stuck here. Oh, that's why. One second, let me put this bad boy. Oh! Oh! Guys, sorry about that. It's kind of hard holding this one hand and then in the camera, close it back up. To set the TSA lock, um, I'm pretty sure most of you already know, you just press the button as this TSA logo, you set the combo and you set it, okay? So I got lucky today and I got someone to model it for us. So here's what it looked like on feet, or I mean in hand. Guys, let me detail the outside a bit. It does have these bumper guards. Um, this also is aluminum. Ideally, when you throw this around, it has, let me see, same thing on these sides. You wanna put these on the bottom because it has these two bumper guards, bumper guards, and then you have these corner guards so it can't get punctured and if it does hit something, these are the parts that would get scratched first. You have the Dior Ramoa logo here, more guards. And on this side, again, no bumpers. So you already know, this This is the bottom. You wanna put this on the bottom, and you wanna put this on the bottom. It has the bumpers, so you know. And then you kinda of wanna protect this. Now, since this is a check-in, from my experience, and most of you frequent flyers, you'll probably know when you check in bags, they don't really care at all. They're just gonna throw this over the place. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna get scratched up. But you can enjoy it. 
um, because you know you're the only one that has this. I mean, I don't see anyone having this out yet. Uh, I haven't even seen it out in an airport, and I do fly a lot. Um, it just came in. It took a month to you know mail it to me. Actually, funny story is I ordered it about a month ago, and they told me mid middle of the month. Um, and then when it didn't show up, I messaged them and called them and said, "What's going on?" And then they started gaming this uh, this ETA saying that, oh, maybe it'll come in March. So I complained a bit. I said, where'd that March come from? And then the <laughs> next thing you know, uh, long story short, they shipped it to me in two days. So I guess that was a lesson there. Uh, if they're trying to give you, or if they forgot to send you your pre-order, uh, just give them a call and complain a bit and they'll probably send it to you. So this is the Dior Ramoa luggage, extremely sturdy. I can sit on this thing, I can ride on it. It can be a chair when I'm in the airport and I have no one to sit, especially when I'm waiting online, so that's nice. No, it's not gonna break. Um, it will get scratched. Uh, pricing wise, this is about five grand plus. Um, you know, taxes depending where you are. Uh, is it worth it? Well, What's your luggage worth to you? That's all I'll say. Um, I'll probably, you know, use this for a bit. I don't know. I already have remote luggage. I might keep this for special occasions. But uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. Would I do it all over again? Absolutely. I mean, this thing is a beautiful piece. Uh, can't go wrong with it. Um, and I feel really secure putting all my luggage, my clothes, my shoes in this thing when I'm going for a trip. Okay guys, I know that was a little different. This is definitely not a shoe, um, but something I like. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you like it, please comment. Let me know what you think. If you wanna see more videos, subscribe. Uh, you have any comments, anything like that, just you know, put them down below. Um, this is the Dior Ramoa luggage.